Bloom, Commissioner Pasquale, Mayor Sack. Mario Blanche. I don't have an address. 319 Street. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I want to be clear that this administration, and it, it's very ironic that it's on today, has disrespected the residents and has disrespected the American people. Twelve years ago, we were baselessly attacked for our way of life. We were attacked. Thousands of people died because of our way of life. And our way of life is basically a democracy, which I know you don't understand, Mayor. But a democracy requires dialogue. It requires public participation. It requires nighttime meetings. In the year 2013, this year, this is the only meeting that's been held at 5 o'clock. Every other nighttime meeting has been canceled. At 5 o'clock, people are getting back from work. Some of these people had to miss hours of their work day so they can get here at 5 o'clock. People can't come at 11 in the morning. No, no other town in Hudson County has 11 a.m. meetings as much as North Bergen. I'm not going to say other towns don't have the 11 a.m. meetings, but not every town is exclusive to 11 a.m., except North Bergen. And the reason for this is to inhibit the participation of the public, it's to inhibit the people from talking out against you, and it's to inhibit our way of life. The same way of life that we were attacked for baselessly 12 years ago, the same way of life a lot of people lost their lives for, the same way of life that our soldiers fight for every day. So I'm gonna urge you to again, let's do nighttime meetings, because what's happening here, you're acting in a cloak of secrecy. Last time I brought up at 11 a.m. and there was no one here, how you accepted secret campaign contributions. But nobody was here to hear it because at 11 a.m. people can't get out of work. But it, was, but it wasn't true. It wasn't true. People have to work, it Mayor. It wasn't true. You didn't it wasn't true. You said it, but it wasn't true. People, have, it. people have to work. Wait, 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 Are you going to ever have the nighttime meetings to, to allow the people to have public participation again? Really? When you ran for mayor, when you true. ran for mayor approximately 25 years ago, approximately 25 years ago, you promised to have nighttime meetings. And I found a copy of that newspaper, and I showed it to you about a year ago, and nothing has changed in a year. You haven't had nighttime meetings. There's less public participation because, in fact, you've canceled the only nighttime meetings you had scheduled. I think you had two of them scheduled for 8 a.m. and you moved them to 11 a.m. and you did that to thwart the efforts of the public from speaking out against you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Madam Clerk, we just pined. I just, your speech. I just, you know what? You gave him three minutes. No, so we're he stopped. Larry, stop talking. You know what? I just moved. We're gonna Larry. We're going to time uh, the meetings, and we're going to time the public stopped. portion, because she you're taking the time away. Not she only do you have, it off. sir, you not only do you have you morning meetings, but you don't even have night, night, night meetings, so, and you take the time away from that night. You know, we are not. We are not. Now, under direct order, to be removed. Mayor okay, Sacco, the, the public wants to know how much you spent on public relations just to promote yourself. Can you give us an answer? No. You can't give us an answer. Well, that would not have to do with anything here. You spent, in the last four years, you spent four million dollars in public relations. Can you verify that? Because I have it's, it's the total. It's a ridiculous number. That's well, no we have people here that, that live in the trailer the park. Area. They have nowhere to go to live. And you're spending $4 million. Mayor Sacco, you're the political boss. You're the political leader. You know what? The township of North Bergen, for your election year, you know what? You can make a request just like I have to make a request from your office, all right? Now. 
$519,000 for this man right here. The one that's laughing. Because he made, él ganó cuatro, cuatro millones de dólares en los últimos cuatro años. Él y su hijo. Cuatro millones de dólares. Ese señor. Township of North Carthy, $319,000. Hudson County Improvement Authority, $317,000. The North Bergen Board of Education, $36,000. North Bergen MUA, $17,000. Hudson, Hudson County, Hudson County Freeholders. Right. You know what? He's the political boss, and this is all under his political arm. Hudson, $36,000. North Bergen Housing Authority. You have people that live in the trail park that have nowhere to go, and they're not even being offered housing. North Bergen Housing is $10,000. You don't know what your calculations are. North Hudson Regional Fire Department is $39,000. $39,000. He earns, he takes from the people in North Bergen over a million dollars a year. And you allow that, Mayor Sacco. And why do we need a public relations firm, all right, to speak on your behalf? You're the chairman, you're the mayor, and that's your responsibility. You take over $400,000 a year. $400,000 for annual. $400,000. $400,000. And you can't make your own statement? You need to pay Paul Sabinski millions of dollars a year of taxpayer money? When you take money from the poor, because they can't afford it. Those are baseless claims, and let's talk about the issue. You tell us how you're going to help these people. You tell us how you're going to help them. Because you have done Nothing. Have been you have, have done absolutely nothing for the people of North Bergen. You only want to line up your pockets with money. The only people you support, the only people you support are your friends. And they're not in your pockets with money. You're the developer friends and the people on the payroll that have two jobs and three jobs and uh, even, even four jobs. You're not even worth talking to. You know what? You're a disgrace. And you know what? Tell us what you're applauding if you do it. And if they Mayor Sacco, you tell us what you could do for the people that live in the trail park. They're going to lose their home. And Paul Sabinski and his son is taking $4 million in the last four years. We've been three helping them for three years. How? Helping them for well, three years. you know what? How? When was the last time you went down to the trail park? How? When was the last time you went down to the trail park? How? Who visited with Mayor, Mayor Sacco? Who, was, who, who visited with him? Did he visit anybody? I tried to be kind to him and nobody wanted him. Herb Shaw, 4402 Liberty Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Larry worked him up for you. you know, okay. You gotta uh, again, I think that Paul Skubinski and Vision Media is the Joseph Goebbels of North Park. He is a very good press agent for you, and he gets your picture plastered all over the place on every piece of literature from North Park, and practically, and also in the newspaper, the North Park and Bulletin, the bingo games and the trips and all this kind of thing. He makes you look like a good guy. Where did that make Phil, though? A big one? You didn't mention Phil. Oh, he's, he's the junior member of the front. <laughs> okay, and today's agenda, four, five, six, and seven, and yeah. Authorizing refund payments for taxes. 
and authorizing. It didn't say how much, and I don't want to know how much. It should be put down there. I don't want to waste my time now. Why, why, why don't you tell the people, of course, last year you sold bonds for over $2 million for tax refunds, for the reasonable tax fund. And I'd like to know where it comes from. Why isn't the amount of money put here? That's four, five, six, seven. It's not on the agenda, it's on the resolution. This is the agenda. Well, don't you, you talk too much. Don't give me the legal snafu stuff. Oh, you have that information. Why don't I have it? It's not a public meeting. Now, and, and, and then there's a, there's, a, there's a sneaky thing. It says when and if funds are available. Meaning when you sell the bonds. That is something that was put in back in 1985 by the state who said everybody <coughs> Well, do one better. Put the amount in. That's all I ask for. The amount's in. It's in. It's in. <coughs> the amount? He just told me what it was, seven hundred and something thousand dollars. No, that's just boilerplate language that the state asked us to Don't give me any legal double talk. Please, you're a lawyer. Don't, 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 give, me a, don't give me a snow job now. Hey, Herb, let's get on, let's get on. That wasn't, that wasn't in there and they said it had to be. I can't argue with it. It's definitely just a job for you. Well, why not put the money? Why, why, is, why, why is it so secret? <laughs> why is it a secret? What's a secret? How much? It's the money is it? Not money. I mean, look, they publish prices and everything. ShopRite is very good at that. It tells you how much and how much you save it and everything else. You tell me nothing. The government does. Doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Objection is noted. Correcting number 19, correcting tax collector records. Well, how much? All right, so what happened there was there was an assessment on a uh, cell tower. The cell tower was removed. How much? Well, now, just tell me, why isn't it there? I have to waste part of my five minutes to find out something that should be published. If you're not ashamed of it, publish it. I will call you personally tomorrow with the number. How's that? It's a small amount. Yeah. I take your word. I take your word. That's not it. You're, it looks like it's government by secrecy. It shouldn't be there. It should be there, rather. How much? Why should I have to ask and take over my five minutes? You know what? It's the way I drew it. Oh, it's all your fault. That's you never mind. You talk too much. Please don't stop talking. You get you're charged by the word. Yes, you do. I did actually more. Yeah. There was a the Jersey Journal editor and took you to task on Monday, December twenty fourth, two thousand and twelve. North Bergen leaders preside over a scandal. <laughs> nothing has been done. No way, yes, you haven't, no, nothing has Thank been improved. Thank you. Next meeting. Okay. 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 Ulysses Ramon. I don't know what your address, what is your address? Yes, I do. Is it the, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Is it the trailer? My name okay. is Ulysses Ramon, my telephone is 201-966-749. Okay. Trailer, is that the trailer? Ready? <laughs> the other day I talked to, I not talk to machine, it's some guy talking in Spanish, looking for somebody, traduce for me. Okay. And the other day I, I called the Canal 41 for go to the trailer park for see the people, because in the trailer park too many people, all people, veterano, eh, incapacitado, enfermo, que viven ahí por long, long time. 
el abogado que teníamos, Baire, quisiera que estuviera aquí para decirle que se vendió. ¿Alguien le puede servir de intérprete? El abogado que teníamos creo que se vendió y algunas otras gente. I think he sold himself with all the other people that were supposed to help us. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I spoke with your, your attorney. I kept, I kept close on this. He got an offer for the uh, residence of six or seven or eight hundred thousand dollars. Él dice que ellos ofrecieron como 600 mil no. dólares. Para... Ellos ofrecieron un dinero, la mitad en el momento y la mitad cuando se fueran. They, they offer some money, but how much they, they offer it? How, how much was offered? Cuánto fue la, la, I don't remember. Paying a, I don't know. Like, it's no money for this. Like ten thousand dollars or eight thousand dollars. It's no money for this. Per person. Per person. Yeah. For for family. Okay. For family. Right. Hold on. You have to understand. There are laws governing private property. The property was sold. The the people in the trailer park by law, had a right of first refusal. I spoke with your first attorney. We went down and spoke with the, the, the people who owned the land before that. The, the, the people in the trailer park had a right of first refusal on a, on a sale of the property. Las personas de los trailers tenían la oportunidad de comprar la propiedad. Remember Yo that? Entendí right. eso. that right was not exercised. The land was then sold to a private developer. There, that's the law. We cannot stop that. They could go to court. In fact, they were in court with you and your attorney. Okay, uh, you think, let me say something in English. You think a ten thousand dollar is paid for the people buy apartment in some place and pay big no, rent? No, of course not. It's paid for this? Of okay, course not. I, I, I listen, talk about it. Four million, three million, two million, uh, four hundred, you know, uh, something. But uh, there's no money paying a thousand dollars for this, Wait, for the sir, people. Sir, sir, a developer bought the property. Right. In accordance with law, the tenants had a right of first refusal, which they did not exercise. Now the developer owns the property, and he has a right. Y usted es honest, the people go out for the trial and the people cuando live in 30, 46 years, something like that. No, you yes, if it's honest, it's legal. If something is done legal, we cannot upset it. It's according to state law. Nothing here is legal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You had an attorney who challenged that in the court and the judge ruled against you. What were we supposed to do? Let me tell you what, something. Tell me what you say okay. you should do. Okay, let me explain something. I have a new authority because the other lawyer is took the money for everybody. Okay, and, and number two, I talked to the Channel 41 and the Channel 41 see the people like at seven and nine. Later called the city. The city, the city say, Hey, I don't know in English, no? The city say, maybe you confuse. The city say, uh, lawyer say, um, Sacco say, I help you the people a lot. Every time I come in here, I look at it, I come in from the. ¿Cómo se dice matadero en inglés? Butcher. Butcher. The butcher. The butcher. It's, they only help you. Let's get the history straight. When this issue first came up, before the tenants, the, the people in, in the uh, trail report, even had a lawyer, I personally went down with another one of our lawyers to meet with the owners right. to try and negotiate something for you. Okay. When we get back, there were many meetings of the, uh, the trail board people, and we let them use this room here for the meeting, whatever they had. The trail board people told us 
to stop that you were going to get your own lawyer, which you did. Then you had your own lawyer who then took it forward and wanted to exercise the right of first refusal, and that became unsuccessful. I'm sorry, the time's up. That's okay. But I have it now, right lawyer. I have it now, right lawyer. The other lawyer is a junkie. I have it, Mario. Yes. I have a Mario, the law and lawyer right now. I want to know everything is full right there. Everything is full. All day, Ramirez. What is her address here? 72 Lexington, Fifth Avenue. 72. It's O D I E. I E. Sorry. Hi. I came because I have a complaint since last year. I've been trying to get new votes for Barbara Fulton get things better going. I talked to the principal, I talked to the teachers. My daughter failed social study because her social study book was ripped. It had pornographic things on it. And nothing was done. Okay, this year she's on the system. I had to pay her nothing. $50 for her to go to summer school to do social studies all over again. But it was no need for if she would have the proper book. Okay, she's on the sixth grade. I'm getting these books again. Read the pages. There's there's nothing here that she could do, and what she's gonna fail science for the year, and I have to pay another fifty, maybe a hundred next summer. I would be interested in Ms. Garcia first. I spoke to Ms. Garcia. Ms. Garcia got her the principal tied up on her head. I want something done every in the year. And besides that, besides that, Mr. Sacco, excuse me. Besides that, there's no air conditioning in that school. Today was 94 degrees. My daughter came out sweating from there. There are kids that are sick with asthma. They're getting sick because they don't go air there. In the winter, they don't get no heat. That's another thing I spoke to the principal, and she feels like, oh, head like this, like, okay, I want to know, you're in charge of administration of water education. What are you going to do, please? I'm getting fed up because I don't want my daughter to be like that. I spoke to Ms. Desta on the Dosha Book. See her. I spoke to her for almost a year, going to two. For two years, going on this, and we still getting the same books. How many students are going to get left back? And another thing, overcrowding. The classes are overcrowding. Look at the North Bergen High School. I mean, it's overcrowding. How are you going to expect those kids to learn if they don't got the proper education? Not books, not teachers, not room. Okay, you built a library for downtown. Well, we could build a library. You could have built another high school or get a building or what? Uh, there's on 74th on right the line. There's a building for sale. You could use that for high school. Put some students in there, so they could be proper way and hire some teachers, so the kids could get proper education. I mean, how hard is that? I disagree with most of what you're saying, but why you disagree with because the, the kids have education? You have an issue with the book. I came here and I have a lot of issue with the education. I have a lot of issue from the building, from the heating, from the lunch, from the books, and from your principal. Then keep talking for five minutes. Okay? That's the problem I have. You have to keep it quiet because it's not talking about you. Our kids are more important because they're our future for us tomorrow. That's what I want to worry about. I worry about now iPods. Did you go to West New York? They gave your kids tablets. Instead of carrying heavy books, the books are downloading. They go to afford it. Why can't we? We're a big town. I pay a lot of taxes on my house. How much state aid do they get? How much aid? They got plenty of aid. Because you know what? Because the mayor cares about what's They're going on. The mayor cares. I thought you cared. That's why I voted for you. I thought you cared. But you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong as a mayor. Because you're supposed to be my voice, my children's voice. Yeah, but Mark, okay. No, no. The mayor is trying to explain something. No, the mayor is a board of education, and I haven't seen her action. He's trying to explain something to you about Yeah, to go see the principal. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's trying to explain something to you. There was a case uh, years back about state aid to different school districts. And the case was labeled Abbott, and certain school districts were labeled Abbott districts. And they get huge amounts of state aid that the other towns don't get. And that gives them a, a, a huge advantage, like Western New York, Union City, or Abbott District. We're not. We've tried to become Abbott District to get that additional aid. And if you don't have that additional aid, it becomes like 
Okay, let me tell you something. I have four kids. All three boys went to Marble Filton. They even went to high school with Mr. Pascal. That's kind of we know each other for a long time. Okay, the school that people care, the teachers care, and I'm telling the teachers still care. But the problem is they're not giving the right tools. All right? You told me last year that things are going to get better. When I spoke to you, look, I'm wondering about the education of the kids, the testing, the score was low. I mean, I mean, it hit rock bottom. Robert Fulton is rock bottom. Horseman is rock bottom. Okay. I mean, what it's not true. My, it is true. It is true. You're going to tell me I'm, I'm up on my daughter's I'm, I'm education. You it's not true, but you're, you're oh, talking, please. but I don't know you're basic anything on. You're just talking. I'm talking. Yeah, go look at the records and see how many kids are going to graduate. I bet you half the kids don't even know how to write a script. All right? And that's a shame. Because a lot of the kids in Bible Filter, they all know how to write a print. And when I asked one of the kids out of the blue, he didn't know how to write a script. Script, script is dead right now. <coughs> you know? Script uh, is dead. It's not dead, but you're teaching kids to be literate. <coughs> and then the lunches you give them. There's diabetes and everything, frozen food, frozen hamburgers and pizza and chicken and nuggets. That's lunch for kids. That's not even healthy. You don't even get them salad and fruit. And the milk is mostly spoiled. So tell me about that. Will you eat that lunch? Because I don't let my daughter eat lunch at Robert Fulton. I have no My name is Judith Medina. My trailer is B13. B13, trailer is B13. I'm from trailer B13. Yo estoy aquí porque me parece muy injusto. I am here because I feel it is very unjust. Que somos un grupo de personas, no animales, los que estamos viviendo en Manhattan Trailer Court. That that we are a group of people, not a bunch of animals that we live in in the trailer Manhattan Center group. Nosotros estamos ahí porque económicamente no podemos pagar una casa. We, 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 He tratado aquí de comprar una casa y no baja de las 300 mil. Uh, we, we've been there because we cannot afford housing. We cannot afford to buy a house. Every house is, is worth about $300,000. And we cannot afford it. That's how come we're there. En mi caso, ahorita, hasta ahorita, estoy sin trabajo. In, in my case, until now, I'm still unemployed. El único que trabaja es mi esposo. Y ustedes creen que con una entrada de una sola persona trabajando en una casa, se puede comprar una casa. Y todavía nos quieren votar y no darnos nada. Now, my, my husband is the only one who's working. And with only one income coming in, it's not enough. To, to, to keep a household together. And obviously, it's not enough to, to buy a home. Tengo dos niños. I have two kids. Es justo que ahorita, a estas alturas, mi hija esté sufriendo de los nervios. Que mi hijo esté sufriendo de los nervios. Porque nos están diciendo cada rato que nos van a sacar del trailer. And right now, I got two kids. And my, my girl and my little boy, now they, they extremely nervous because they all the time they telling them that they're going to be kicked out from the trailer park. My, my hair is falling because, and I have to cut it short because I am so worried and I don't know what we're going to do, but my, my, hair, is, my, my hair is falling. In housing, lo que me dicen es no hay nada. Uh, no hay casa, and, and no hay nada para la familia. Nothing, nothing, nothing for, for desde, 2000, desde 2000, 
that are 2,000 is over. That is federally funded and regulated. It, when you go there, it's not that you get an immediate apartment if there are other people on the list, because there are, unfortunately in this economy, there are many people who need housing, more than the units there are. And we can only add to somebody new when we have a vacancy. Eh, so, él dice que eh, eh, como es regulada federalmente que no tienen suficiente eh, espacio porque están ayudando como la economía está tan mala so federal, están ayudando a otras personas entonces para que me manda ya then the question is then she got a question for you if it's so full up and everything then why, why are you sending them her there because they're not going to help her anymore but eventually there are vacancies and the only way you can do it under federal law is when you're on the list el caso, el caso es que el trailer es mío. Okay. Es mío. No, no, no. Pero el trailer es mío. Yo no puedo mover esa trailer. No me quieren dar nada. Me quieren sacar así. Yo no puedo sacar la calle. No puede ser tan fácil. Ella dice que invierte dinero en el trailer. El trailer está ahí. No hay nada que puede hacer con el trailer. Ella va a perder cualquier cosa que tenga ahí. Y ella no sabe dónde ir. Así que ahora ella fue un par de veces a la casa de la casa de la casa de la casa housing department, and they told them that there's nothing for them. But did you say uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. No, yes. 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 Que cómo me van a mandar para allá, porque la vez pasada dijeron de que fuéramos a housing. Fui. How Mira, come they sending them there? Que eso es una burla que ustedes están haciendo con nosotros. That, de that you just a playing a joke on them, because yeah. there's no room and there's, they're not taking nominations or anything like that. Esa es la primera. La segunda. En qué momento no han dado ustedes la ayuda? Porque Uh, I also want to know when, when and how you said that they, they've been helping, you've been helping them, but he, he just want to know when they receive any help. Dice que, que disculpa, pero tu tiempo se terminó, no te puedo explicar. Julia, Travis, 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 My name is Julia Travieso. Okay, no point of order, sir. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Sit down, sit down, please. Point of order. The point of order, please. No. There is no point of order. Her. Her. Point of order. Sit down. This lady's time. It's her time. You had your time. Now it's her time. I wanted to confirm what Mr. Tories translates to. And fortunately, no. we have a town clerk who is bilingual, <coughs> and you will compare the bilingual also. So I want to know what goes Her, on. Uh, I'm entitled to know what goes on, and I, if meetings, there's any errors, I want it put forward. That's what I want to do. Please sit down. Please. I've known you too long. You've come to meetings too long to get into this.
You're 15 minutes late, don't say about time. You never get here on time. About two, 12 years ago, I, I bought my house at uh, 48. 4823 uh, Tonelli Avenue, I bought a house there. Since I bought my house on the side of, of the house, there is a house that has been abandoned. We have complained uh, several times about that situation. They went there and they closed it down. For 15 days. For 15 days. When you say they closed it down, they sealed it up. Cuando hice la cerrada. La, la, le pusieron madera en yeah, todos los lugares. Yeah, they sealed the windows. Estuvo, they sealed the windows and closed policía, it down. Okay. The, the police went there and everything. Okay. Pasaron 15 días y yo no sé qué relación tiene él, ¿verdad? Abrieron otra vez sin hacer un arreglo. 15 days later. Uh, somebody went there, opened it up again. No I don't le, know what kind of relationship that person has. No le quiero tomar mucho tiempo. I don't want to take too much of your time. Que, but que a chequear. Mi casa se me inundó de este en May. You have the address of 4820. Why do you know the address of the house? Why is Right, it is the next house, but what the the lady is on suit? Forty-eight. Her house is forty-eight me costó dos mil pesos tu Pagué dos mil pesos por fumigar mi casa porque se me llenó de termal. I I had to pay about two thousand dollars to uh to a pet to do a a pest in, 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 you know this infection that that it caught. Uh, a termite spray, you know, and, and it created so many problems for the house. So now there's a lot of uh, rats coming in and, and, and mice. Yes. Okay. And she said that she went to the other side, who were just living there, and asked permission, but they didn't allow her to to even uh, close that that section. So. Sometimes people fall behind in there. They can't afford the house. Dice que muchas muchas veces la gente se no puede ya pagar la casa y pierden su casa, se puede no, él, él viene ahí y a buscar las cartas, él vive en Sicoco. Uh, he said that the person no se ocupa de la propiedad. And, and he doesn't care about the house. He goes there, he lives in Sicoco, he comes, he picks up the mail, and the house is abandoned there and he creates a lot of pest problems. What's happened now is that the legislature passed a law which is saying that whenever there's a foreclosure action, whenever a bank is foreclosing on a house, which is a, a common reason for the banning of Dice que cada, cada vez, el, ahora hay nuevas leyes que cuando están reposiciendo la propiedad, el banco la está reposiciendo por medio de, uno, de una reposición de hipoteca. El banco tiene que notificar al, al, a la ciudad que tiene en, en la hipoteca. Find out if there's a mortgage, the bank is 
security. If someone breaks in, you are going to go to the night. You're 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 going to go to the night. You can you guys do something for us right now? It's a question. Not to take us to the to the, the house in the farm. They're gonna say, "Oh, we we sorry, man. We, you know, we can do nothing for for you." The question is, where are we gonna live? Are you for the guys in the house sleeping on the street? Can you can you for that? Can you guys take the people and leave the people living on the street? No food, no. You you not a child care. I know. I understand. But you can you can do something. Probably some of that money that you guys are spending campaign or something like that, you can develop something for us over there Look, and help us. There are certain things you can spend public money on and certain things you can't. When this yeah, issue came up, we jumped right in. Before you got any lawyer, not even your first lawyer, you know, I personally got involved and went down to see the lawyer for the estate try and work something out, so you wouldn't even have to hire a lawyer. I came back, there were meetings here, I told the group, and it was a larger group then, that we had spoken with the owner, and they were amenable to the negotiating relocation. We were told by the group, stop, we're going to get our own lawyer, and you've got a lawyer. And I was in touch with that lawyer. I had many conversations with him. He was taught, and I checked the law to make sure what he was doing seemed to be appropriate. And he was talking about exercising the right of first refusal to keep you on there permanently. But you chose, the group chose the lawyer. I didn't. Then you took <coughs> advice from the lawyer that you had chosen and picked. You formed an association, which was what you had to do legally to exercise that right. That, but that was your choice of lawyer. I believe, uh, uh -huh. I later heard that the, the gentleman had a heart attack. Okay. Sorry to look. I know, I understand right. all the And then you had a second lawyer, and I was in touch it's with the him. It's the same. It's exactly the same. He kept but doing what the other guy was doing. What am I supposed to well, do now, when you uh, choose that, a lawyer? That, that's my question. Now is the point. We have nobody can help us. Now you guys can do something for us. What? Now is the time. We are about to leave. Six months from now, you can probably do something. Put some money and try to buy the property and make some house for this guy, for us. And, and, and now they say, you paid four million to the guy. You put something for us. And we're going to pay. We're going to pay. You can buy it. You can buy it for us. Why is it that? Whatever it means money for somebody else means housing for us.
house is not trash. Sure. It's my, it's my let's, house. Let's get real. Okay. You're saying that we should take, first of all... They didn't make the, the first offer. We are supposed to get the first offer. Nobody gave us the, the opportunity to get the first offer to mean? buy it. To You've buy the property. The, as a matter of law, you had a right of first refusal. But, your lawyer took it to court and lost. And we failed. You failed. <coughs> Not me, the lawyer. Why? It was your lawyer. It was my lawyer, but he failed. He was he was walking us the, the way they wanted to us to go. You picked him. Well, maybe maybe what was my fault because maybe. I don't have enough money to pay a lawyer. Maybe Not you can do for us. You picked but that's the lawyer. You want to represent the people here. That's I the people. Understand, sir. How do the people know? Really? You see, you tell me why. You guys are crazy. You tell me. That guy, that guy is going to make money what over opportunity. Or houses. What legal that, opportunity? Legal opportunity? Yes. What legal opportunity? Okay, try to win have. time. Stand a little bit longer over there. Yeah. At least that one. You know, the problem is, is I have to make a stop for the bell when the people talk. Because the people talk too much and the time goes and disappear. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Rodriguez, 48, 28, Tunnel Avenue. Excuse me, can we hear it? Where is it? What's name? Elizabeth Rodriguez, 4828. Good evening. Um, my question is, I, I live at the trailer park, and it happened to be that I went by 6121 Grand Avenue Parking um, Housing Authority, the Housing Authority I went today, and I asked them if I can have an application, and they said, I do live in the trailer park, but today it happened to be that I went to 6121 Grand um, Housing Authority, and um, the lady said to me, it's closed. Um, can I have an application? She said, no, it's closed. Don't you see the letter on the window? And I said to her, well, I'm for the trailer park. They told us to come by. Who did you speak with? Um, I don't know the name of the person. This is one sitting right on the right-hand side when you go on the window. All right. Uh, can, can you say that the chairperson of housing, so she's saying uh, May I ask you a question? Do you mind? Sure. You went to the housing authority today? Yes, I did. Around who was the, 2 .15. Who was the person who spoke to you? I didn't get her name. And she's sitting right by the window on the right hand There's side. There's a lot of people who sit by that window. Or maybe somebody went to lunch and somebody took a place. I want the name of the person. I'll who go refused, tomorrow. Just a moment, please. Who refused to give you an application. I will go tomorrow and I'll give you the name of the person. I would appreciate it very much. And would you please bring it to my office I at 25th you. in Bergen Turnpike? I'm going with you too. Okay, because, uh, <laughs> because I told her, I said, can I have an application again? And she didn't refuse, so I said, okay, that's not a problem because I'm for the trailer park and they told us to come back. Look, I'm not the attorney for the housing authority. My uh -huh. understanding is uh -huh. that they have to give you an application. Yeah. And I don't understand what's happening, but if We'll do what the commissioner says. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure you get the application. Yeah, because I don't want to be, you know, I don't, I don't take any, any welfare or anything. I, I work hard, and everybody does there, so I don't want to be in charge for the um, state. So I really want to get some help, and that's why I went today because I'm supposed to leave by June of 2014. Okay. So you have to get out. Yeah, I have to be out by June 2014. Oh, 2014? Yeah. Get the application. Get tomorrow. the uh, <coughs> application. Get the ID application for Commissioner Ferrara. Oh, that's, all right, thanks. Bye-bye. Mario Fuentes, 4828 Tunnel Avenue. How are you doing, guys? Hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm here concerned about the trailer parts. Uh, the abandoned trailers. We right. got... Right. And the places look like a mess. It's, uh, Horrible. We talked about it, but uh, since it's four, six months, right, four or five months, it's been that the place is the same. It's getting worse. It's, we got another five people that left, and there's another five trailers abandoned. It's gonna be sooner or later because people go in, they trash the place, and um, I know we're talking about five, six months, eight months. It's, we we don't know yet what, when we're leaving because we gotta go back to see the city the judge. They might give us another. Um, six months or a year right. extension. We don't know yet. We, we, you know, I know the, the lawyer, but the thing is, the place is 
it's just horrible. We cannot live like this anymore. We got animals, we got trash all over, abandoned places. It's unbelievable. I can't, I can't, you know. It's too many, too many abandoned houses. We're talking about 45, 50 abandoned houses already. Okay, uh, her tomorrow. Please, yeah. Please. We already talked. No, no. I, we had the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, I spoke with the, the owner. The owner said that, that he's about this this problem. Yeah, yeah. He said he had a legal issue with taking them out. Uh, I spoke with the health department then, and I said, please go down there and identify each of the trailers, but I need the statute or the health ordinance that they're violating so I can get it to the uh, owner of the property. He agreed that he would go to court to get a court order and all that. I know that. Yeah, we've been talking about that six so months ago. Okay. And I, I talked I to him about two years ago. I told him, he said, it takes time. Two years, come on. And now six months, you know. I mean, please, you know, help, help me out with that. You know, it's uh, too many abandoned trailers. And, and people. Understood. We're in danger. Let's put it that way. I mean, the people in there, we're in danger <laughs> right now. Because the animals, the people coming in, the smoke, the going inside, it's, it's terrible. Graffiti all over. Those animals. Animals. Those animals. Animals. We got animals. There's no maintenance in the place. One guy take care of the whole place. The and he's sick. Yeah, he's sick. We can't, we, can't, we can't kill him like this. Mm -hmm. I've been living like this three years since Mr. Wasso, uh, Jerry Wasso died. Right. He's been everything good now with these people. He's, everything is terrible. I mean, and I call him. I tell him. Right now the grass is like this, all over. And I told them last week, the garbage, they, they used to pick it twice, sometimes they pick it once a week, it's terrible. I call, I call the owner, I call the, 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 the lawyers, I call you, I call everybody here. I call them, you know, they told me that, uh, two weeks ago I came by, they told me that you know, they want to call me, nobody call me. So, I'm trying to, you know, hold on. Yes, yeah, the, the place is terrible. I think from 1 to 10 is 10. The place is, you cannot leave that down. I'm sorry. I need help for that, please. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. One moment. Uh, Mr. Uh, no, ma'am, I think you're wrong. Oh, one moment. No, 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 we have He's Advian, he told me, no have any choice for him. Ma'am, we have a I procedure. Know. We cannot violate the procedure. Okay, the same. I'm sorry. The name is Abia, he is correct. Maria, I can't understand the last name. Okay, 1611 Kennedy Boulevard. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here because I had my son, David. I had a three child, and I'm single mother. Long time, I give my book for you, Sako. And you're never doing nothing for us. I went to apply for the housing. Anytime they say, no, I don't have no application, go. And they try somebody like, uh, with nothing. You understand what I say? So you, I see you in the school, any school you go, oh, hi, hi, and you, only you, you, you want to, everybody see you, but you don't do nothing, I'm sorry. Yeah. You don't do nothing. And I said one day, I hope so God, let me, let me talk to him face to face. And it's the time. It's the time. My English is not good, but I try to explain to you. Because I, I pray to God. I say, one day I want to see Psycho face to face. And I want to say what I want, what, what I feel in my heart. 
because she didn't do nothing, I'm sorry. I went to the school, talked to the teacher, they, they give it away to my kids, I never. You go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom, I never. They don't want to give me parents to go to the bathroom. It's a lot of discrimination in the school. It's a lot of discrimination. When I go to the um, to the family and um, I have a child in Lincoln Island, and they say, okay, and the table, one VAP, and everybody sit down. I see, I see like a complot. I don't know how to say in English. Complot. Complot. You know, like a hypocrite. They don't give me the one my, my son needed. They only, they only working for you. They only working for you. And it's hard. One day you're gonna see God face to face. And you know what? God gonna call you. And you're gonna see what happened. You're gonna see what happened. And the other thing is, we need some help. I'm single mother. I, I'm looking for section A. Any time when I go to the 16 year street over there, they say no. It's no, it's no application for, for four people. I'm sorry, Psycho. But you are, you are only working for your family right. and for you, your friends. That's right. We need to grow and not grow. Excuse me? Where do you go and ask for the housing? Over there in the 16, um, Kennedy and 61. And uh, we need some help. We need more burden growing. And you, you may be doing less and less and, and you don't want to do nothing. You promise here. But you, I see you a long time, you're on the phone, like a, we're nothing. Right, it's right. not good, right. it's not good. Yeah. We person, yeah. and we had an art. You have to think, Sako. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people, a lot of people, they need some help. You don't care. Mm -hmm. You don't care. Yeah. That's right. Right there. Right there. And you know why, Sako? You you need to talk and um, and um, uh, Lincoln on it. When I had a meeting, they don't give my, what my child need. My child has education because I give my, my education in my house. I don't working for him. I need I, I give my whole time for him. I need to I need to put my son in writing because I don't see he growing in the school. You not understand that? I'm sorry you don't like the school. There's not much anybody can do about that. It's probably the most popular school in town. It runs beautifully for Lincoln Average. It's a kindergarten school. Listen, I when I go... When I mean, you don't like it doesn't mean that that's what the my problem son. is. You don't like it. People happen to love that particular school and building. I say... The people, they had a class, they do a class, they give a class to my son. Okay. The government doesn't seem to be working for these people. That's, you know. You know, they're, maybe they're not educated and they don't have money, but that's an excuse to not give them what they need. No, I don't mean I don't mean a specific. I mean in general. Government and economics is not working for these people. The system isn't working. It's pretty obvious. No, I'm not saying you. I'm saying the whole system. I did not have you. I'm, I'm not saying you right now. I'm si so leave yourself out of the picture. I'm saying the whole system doesn't seem to be working for the people. Here, here, and the system here, here, here. maybe has to be changed.
Not you, the whole, not the mayor, the whole system is at work. You need to respect the people. Clean the place. You need to respect the people. When I talk to you, you respect the people.